Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. In this GTA Online video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best method to run the KO Perico Heist solo. This will literally take you guys around about 5 minutes to complete. But just before we jump into the video guys, we'll just have a quick word from our sponsor. If you guys are looking to buy cheap GTA Online money or modded accounts, head over to aurorarresupply.com for all the best prices there is. When on the website, just head over to the GTA Online section and we can choose from any of these options. They offer a 10 out of 10 service and amazing customer support, so check them out through the link in the description. First of all guys, to quickly run over some requirements for this, you guys will first of all need the Kosatka Submarine. Obviously if you guys have never done the KO Perico heist before, this is how you guys can access the heist planning board. But once you guys have your submarine, you guys will need to do the Gather Intel mission. And in the Gather Intel mission, you guys will be on the island, and the main goal here is to get to this communications tower to be able to see our primary target. You guys will see here that my primary target is the pink diamond, but when you guys do find your primary target, you want to come to this location right here and over in the distance where that boat is under the water there is a drainage tunnel what you guys essentially need to do is swim over to that and the moment you guys see it it will be added to your heist planning table this will be how we get inside the villa it is by far the easiest way to get inside now after scoping that out guys you guys can either keep scoping the secondary targets but with these heists i don't really even go for the secondary targets anymore when you guys think you've scoped enough then all that we need to do is go back to the plane and head back to los santos now coming back over to the heist planning table you guys will now get the option to prep for the heist and the first option we get here is the approach vehicles and the approach vehicle you guys want to do for this setup is the long fin now believe it or not guys i have tried the vellum before and it was absolutely awful but with the long fin it just makes everything so much easier getting to the compound especially when we're going to be accessing the drainage tunnel so you guys just want to go ahead and collect the long fin this is usually held up at a police station and when you guys get close to the long fin Pavel will tell you guys where to find a truck so that we can attach this to the long fin. A quick tip for this mission guys, if you have the phantom wedge, you guys can just call that in and take it straight to the long fin. This will save you guys a bunch of time when doing this mission and when you collect the long fin and lose the cops, you guys will need to deliver the long fin to the docks and that will be the approach vehicle setup complete. For the next prep mission, we have equipment and in the equipment prep, you guys will have four separate missions. Now I would recommend that you do all of these. They don't take too long, especially if you guys own the sparrow from the moon pool. The equipment you will need the most is the cutting torch and also the fingerprint cloner. Both of these will help us get to our primary target really fast. I will now skip ahead until I have completed all four of these preps. Each one of these preps took me around about five or 10 minutes to do, but after finishing up them prep missions for the equipment, we now have the weapon loadout prep. This is actually the last prep mission we need to do and the weapon loadout I would highly recommend that you guys use is called the Conspirator. Once again guys just like all of the other prep missions this takes around about 5 to 10 minutes and when you guys collect this weapon loadout and take it back to the Kosatka we are now ready to start this heist. But one thing just before we start this heist up you guys want to go over to the prep tab and then go down to the weapon loadout and then you guys get this choice to either buy the suppressors or just leave them. Now this will only cost you guys 5k to buy suppressors so it's not really that expensive but honestly guys you don't even need to shoot your gun in this one but just in case you guys do need to shoot your gun I would probably get suppressors but after this guys you want to go over to the finale tab and then start up the heist now as most of you already know we can run this heist solo which will obviously mean more cut for us but if you guys are going for secondary targets then you won't be able to get enough however you guys can still get a lot of money from doing the secondary targets as well but now guys we can select our different approaches now for the approach vehicle obviously we want to select the long fin for the infiltration point, I just select the north dock. I think I only have this scoped out. But if you guys have a different infiltration point that is closer to the compound, I would recommend doing that. Now here is the most important one on this list in my opinion, is the compound entry point. Make sure that you guys use the drainage tunnel here. This is the best and easiest way to enter the compound. For the escape point, just select the airstrip or the north dock. It doesn't really matter. For the time of day, this doesn't matter either. I just prefer to go in the day. And then obviously for the weapon loader, out, this should already be selected and now we're ready to run the heist. So now if we go ahead and press continue we will now be entering the Keo Perico Island on the long fin. I do also believe that with the long fin you guys will be disguised as a smuggler so this means that we can have more leeway when actually on the island but now we can control the long fin you guys want to head over to the back of the compound where I am and then simply jump out of the long fin and swim underwater. Make sure that you guys have some rebreathers and to activate these rebreathers when underwater all that we need to do is just 
just press left on the d-pad. You guys now want to swim up to the drainage tunnel and then press right on the d-pad to get the torch out. From here this is really simple, we just have to get through this gear and then swim up to the entry point. After this cutscene guys you want to follow exactly where I go, just keep an eye out for these cones of vision from these guards and if you guys want to run faster then go in first person. When we get to this point here you guys want to wait until this guard closest to you turns around and starts walking. When he starts walking off you guys want to get behind him and make sure that you have a gun out. When you guys are fully behind him you want to point the gun at him and then press the melee button. For me using an Xbox controller I press B. After you guys have taken care of that guard you want to come around this corner here and there will be another guard. You guys just want to do the exact same thing we just did to the other guard and as you guys can see after we took care of that second guard we got these keys. The majority of the time you guys run this heist you will most likely pick up the keys off them two guards we just knocked out. You guys can also pick up the keys off this third guard who is further up these stairs. However if you guys don't pick up the keys off any three of these guards then you guys can either restart the heist or just kill another guard. But most of the time these three guards over here will have the keys. So now guys we just follow these stairs up and knock out this last guard and then we just want to run through this door go over to this table and pick up this key card. After this if we turn around and look at this wall we can press the right d-pad to open the safe. This will give us a random amount of money sometimes you can get just under 100k sometimes you get around about 50k either way it's a really nice little bonus but after we have collected the money from that safe as you can see we just got 80k from that we want to run back out of this door and instead of going all the way down the stairs you guys want to come down the first two sets of stairs and this railing here you guys just want to jump over it and don't worry about your character falling he won't die or anything but just before you jump over that railing just make sure that the guards aren't looking your way sometimes the guard below us walking past the camera can actually turn this way but if you guys do all of this fast enough then he won't even be in sight. After your character recovers and stands up you want to run over to this point and then just jump over this railing as well and on our left here we have this gear. This is where them keys come in really handy and because we collected the keys off one of them guards we can just press right on the d-pad to get through. After getting through them gates guys you will have to do one of the fingerprint cloners. Honestly guys I'm not the best at doing this but you guys get a lot of time to actually do one of these so it's not that bad and even if you guys are on hard you will still get this same time. After we complete that fingerprint cloner you guys just want to run over to the end of the room and because we did the prep for this torch we can just get through this gate. Now that we're through the gate guys we just want to run over to our primary loot it depends what you guys have and then we can press right on the d-pad to get out the plasma cutter. Now the quickest way to get through this glass with the plasma cutter is to keep holding it until it almost overheats letting go of the RT button or depending on which console you guys are playing on and then just repeating this until it finally cuts through the glass. After collecting the primary target you guys will be up over to about a mil and obviously if you guys have filled up your loot bag with the secondary loot then you guys will have much more. A quick tip though if you guys are going to get the secondary target then make sure you do that before you do the primary one. But now guys we just want to run back to the first gate that we opened with the keys. Make sure you look out for any guards kind of vision before you actually jump over this wall here and then guys we just want to turn around here and go up these small steps. You will notice a guard patrolling the front gate walking back and forth. Just wait for him to leave the front gate and then just avoid the second guard's cone of vision and run towards the front gate. You guys will then have to press right on the d-pad to activate this escape point. You guys will then get this cutscene and after this cutscene we will be out of the gate. From this point guys it is really simple we just want to run over to this guard at the front and just like before with the other guards in the compound we want to pull out a gun, aim it towards him and then press the melee button. After that guard is knocked out you want to get on this bike here and then just follow the same route I take. Just keep an eye out for this other guard here near the helipad. He will just keep walking along but after we get past this guard with the bike just be very careful driving down here because there is a lot of trees and debris that we can crash into. But right at the end of this island here we just want to jump off like this and when in the water you guys just want to dive down and equip your rebreather. One more thing to be very careful of here is the mines. These should be really simple to avoid as well and you guys just want to keep swimming until our screen goes black. You guys will then get the cutscene of us handing the loot to the person and from this point that is the heist done. The whole heist took me around about 5 minutes to complete and from these 5 minutes we just got 1.2 mil. This is a really simple method to do guys and there is actually a way to repeat this heist solo on PC. Just let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that. It is also super simple to hit that as well. However I'm not sure if the same method works on console. But yeah guys that is going to be everything for this video. Hopefully you guys can hit this a lot more efficiently and if you guys found this video useful make sure to leave a like as it really helps me out and if you guys are new to the channel and like what you see be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. Finally guys stay safe and thanks for watching.